Hello, my name is Wayne Trenkline, and welcome to my production studio. I'm here with my old buddy Webster. He's a parrot. He's been with me for 40 years. We've been making trees together. But we've got extra help here. Over here we have Andrea. Hello. And we have Hannah. Hello. And Andrea is finishing the twisting on a pair of birches. And Hannah is applying the resin drop by drop that will eventually make up a beautiful red bud tree. And we do all this to accomplish our mission. Our mission here is to make beautiful trees that will honor people. And in order to do that, we know that we have to be creative. We are constantly trying new methods, using new techniques, new materials, but always with a purpose of creating a story. We, we also have to do this with great efficiency because we've been blessed with a lot of orders. So we enjoy the challenge of being very productive in our work. And what we do on every tree is basically the same. We start out with a bundle of wires, and then we heat it, and we fuse it with metals, and we twist it, and we paint it in some cases, but we end up finally with a tree, a tree that will tell a story of a special person in our lives. Holds in the rocks in order to accept the, the tap roots that will anchor that stone to the rock. We do it with a diamond bit. Plunging deep into the rock. Got a hole about two inches deep in that rock now. Okay. Good. We begin with a bundle of wires, which have all been prepared so that they're parallel. Then we take the, the bundle of wires, and I begin the molding process, the beginnings of the molding process. We've completed the character molding and done the major trunks and branches. We are now going to fuse uh, that with the initial uh, tin, which will give it its strength. We add trick, tin, and fuse it completely through to the depth of the wire bundles. It will end up being strong at that point and easy to work with and unbendable. We're now preparing the eutectic alloy. This is a special alloy that I've developed that has a high uh, point uh, where it becomes um, plastic and easy to work with. I have to first heat it very hot. Now I'm going to pour it over the, the tree. Pour it into, into over the coat of the tree with this very hot material. Then I will let this cool, and after it's cooled, then I can reheat it to a certain temperature where it becomes like clay, and I can work it like clay. Photography is really an important part of my business. I have my own photographic studio right here in the uh, art studio, and in there I can take pictures of each tree to put the trees on my website and be able to send pictures to trees to customers who want to see the tree they might be buying. So I, uh, I shoot under nice uh, uniform light conditions like they'd see a tree in their home. Well, Webster, it's just about lunchtime. We've had a little time to show some people our operation, but there's one more thing I wanted to show them before we left here. And that is these ribbons. Over the last few years, I have been very honored and humbled and totally surprised by all the ribbons that I have gotten, awards that I've won. What it tells me is that I think I'm doing something right. I feel like I'm doing what I should be doing. I do believe that I'm making a difference in people's lives, that people really appreciate what we do here. And to me, uh, that's really what makes 
the difference. That's what makes it worth it.